What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel. And for those of you that are new around here and don't know who I am, my name is Aaron. I create travel, photography and videography based content here on YouTube. So if that is something that will interest you, be sure to subscribe to the channel. But as you can tell by the title today, we're going to be discussing the best travel backpack in my opinion, which is, I'll just get it because it is right here, the Osprey, it's about to hit me on the head, the Osprey 4.55 litre backpack it's that big it doesn't even fit in the frame but i'm going to show you all the in-depth details in this review so if you do find this useful at any point be sure to let me know by leaving a like put any comments or questions down below in the comment section and check out the linked playlist on screen right now which is some travel related content but let's just jump straight into the review before we actually jump into the review though i'm just going to give you some structure for this video and i'm basically just going to look at all the key features by talking and using some b-roll from gopro so a point of view and obviously some actual handheld b-roll of the backpack itself so you can get a close-up idea of what it actually looks like and i'm basically going to walk you through from the beginning of getting the backpack to all the key features and then i'm going to give you a bit of a conclusion at the end so without any further ado let's jump into the first feature of this backpack okay so when this backpack arrives you will see that it comes attached with the day bag on the front and obviously everything is zipped up and obviously all the straps are put away and you're either going to get the backpack in red or black because they are the only two colors that are actually out there right now and basically it's a 55 liter backpack obviously if you want to look at all the detailed specifics of the backpack you can do so on the osprey website but basically it's a 55 liter and i believe it does actually break down to a 40 liter main bag and then a 15 liter day bag but you do basically get a day bag attached to the main backpack the backpack opens up like a suitcase which is very very handy to know but basically when it arrives it will just look like you can see right now and now we're going to dive into the actual features of the bag okay so i've already mentioned the day bag and i'm going to go into a bit more detail on it later but i'm just basically going to show you how it works so basically it does actually unzip from the front of the main backpack so you literally just use the zip and compartment and you unzip it and then pull it straight off it's a very very easy process and basically the day bag gives you one main compartment which actually stores a 15 inch uh, laptop i can manage to get my macbook pro in there so that's very very handy and then it does actually also have a lot more storage space and on the front or the back of the backpack the day bag you can actually have a small little compartment which does actually zip open and i just tend to keep some cables in there and obviously there's more features to the day bag but i'm going to show you them a bit later on when i go into a bit more detail on the day bag itself now another key feature is to do with the back of the backpack which is actually the part that goes onto your back so it actually has zips or a flap which basically flaps over all of the straps and then you can zip it completely up so you hide all the straps on the backpack which does make it able to check in if you wanted to at the airport so you can just get rid of all the straps zip them up and then they are not to be seen so it does check in like a suitcase and as i said the bag does actually open up like a suitcase but that's one of the further features but for this key feature you can pretty much remove all of the straps from the backpack and there is a handle on the side which is handy if you are carrying it through an airport and you don't want it to be on your back it's a very very good feature to have okay now i've already mentioned this quite a few times already but let's show you it does actually open up like a suitcase and what i mean by that is in the main compartments there is just one main zipper and it basically opens up completely from one side to the other and then you just pull the flap open and it's a complete main compartment and you literally have so much room in there obviously with this backpack being a 55 litre you're expected to have quite a lot of room but it is very very handy in mind you'll be able to see that there are some packing cubes and stuff like that in there so it's obviously uh, very very handy if you do want to organize stuff i like this particular feature because previous backpacks that i've had they've opened at the top which means you'll have stuff at the bottom which is very very difficult to access whereas with this one it literally opens up like a suitcase so you can access any part of the main compartment at any time that you need to which is a really really key feature when you are traveling for long distances and long periods of time so i find this feature one of the biggest and most important with this backpack which makes it one of the key things for why it is the ultimate travel backpack in my opinion now obviously i 
I'm saying this is the ultimate travel backpack and most people would presume that that is for traveling for long periods of time on long trips maybe around Europe or Southeast Asia so you're probably wondering is it comfortable and I can safely say it is very very comfortable you can see the padding on the backpack itself is very very thick and once you put it on it doesn't actually feel as if you've got it on your back which kind of sounds stupid obviously you can feel the weight but there is nothing painful about it whatsoever unless you class weight as painful then there is no pain to this backpack at all as the padding especially around the hips is very very useful and right along that back compartment it is very very comfortable and i have actually loaded this backpack up ready for my travel later this year just to test what it felt like and it felt very very comfortable even with the day pack either on the back or the front which i'll go into a bit more detail in a moment it is still very very comfortable which again is another huge bonus for this backpack as comfort is probably one of the main priorities when it comes to picking a backpack. Now, one of the other key features which often gets overlooked with this backpack is the security system. And basically, both the day pack and the main backpack actually have zips, as I've mentioned, but they only actually get locked at one point because there is actually only one main entrance to the main compartments of both uh, backpacks and obviously the day pack and it actually has a hole in the center of the zips which actually allow you as you'll be able to see on screen right now to put a padlock through which is a very very key feature because some backpacks don't really have that available and some you have to kind of fiddle around with padlocks to try and squeeze them through and they're very very easy to remove but another key feature with this is the zipper doesn't actually get broken so a common trick when people are traveling is people often take a knife or scissors something like that and they'll run them up the zipper which basically makes the zipper come undone but with this backpack it is basically proof of all that it doesn't happen to this backpack which makes it pretty much security perfect if you are traveling and obviously you have your padlocks and you put them through the holes provided no one's going to be able to get into this backpack which is a huge feature especially if you're carrying electricals in your day pack it's a huge thing to have that on the day pack as well so it's a very very handy thing to have and it makes you have a bit of peace of mind when you're traveling around and obviously i keep saying i'm going to come back to the day pack and there is a good reason for that and that is because there's a couple of other key features that you need to know about with the day pack which is very very handy a lot of people whilst traveling if they have both bags on them they probably won't like to have the day pack behind them so you can actually wear it like a turtle which is basically the look that most people go for when traveling but it actually clips into the main clips of the backpack which you'll be seeing on screen right now and it's a very very handy feature to have because it allows you to have that security of knowing that your day packs in front of you because often most of your valuables will be in there and you can have the padlocks on your main compartment on the back of your back and know that that's completely safe as well so this is another real key feature of this backpack and all them features considered i do believe that this is by far the best travel backpack it's pretty much got everything you want you can use it like a suitcase and obviously you can share the weight between your front and the back if you want to detach the day bag you've also obviously just got the option of leaving your bag at a hostel or at the hotel and just taking the day bag out on its own and obviously it's perfect for security and obviously if you're going through airports you can check it through as a hold luggage by getting rid of all the zips and straps that come with most travel backpacks so i do believe this is the ultimate travel backpack for anyone who's looking to travel the world in 2018 but that is all for the review of my osprey 4.55 liter backpack and i believe as i said it is the ultimate travel backpack it's perfect for every single condition every single scenario that you'll find yourselves in if you are traveling the world if you did find this video useful be sure to let me know by leaving a like if you have this backpack or have any questions about it be sure to put them in the comments below and obviously as i said at the start of the video be sure to subscribe to the youtube channel for more content like this but thank you for watching guys till next time goodbye <laughs>